Hello, hello. So I thought I would show you how to install TrueNAS, configure a pool and a share with that. Um, TrueNAS used to be called FreeNAS. Uh, this is more updated version. And you can have it as a NAS or a computer as a NAS. As long as as long as not too old computer. So up here in the corner you have download. Then you scroll down. The bottom here says no thanks, take me to the download page. And you can click download now. It will download it for you. Uh, I also suggest you read the full hardware requirements because absolute minimum of 8 gigs required. Um, yeah, general recommendation is to use as much RAM as possible. This is because additional futures may use more RAM than the minimum. You can install it on uh, like an SSD or a hard drive using a USB as boot device as a boot device is not recommended it used to be recommended but uh, people had problems with it and blamed TrueNAS for it but the reason is they are poorly the USB sticks are usually poor, poor quality and usually wear out quicker than an SSD in hardware so don't use any USB stick for this. Just use an SSD or a hard drive. Uh, you can have actually two SSDs or hard drives and install them on those two and it will create a mirror of those for redundancy. Yeah, it also supports SATA drives uh, with AHCI. Uh, it doesn't like RAID cards or other controllers. RAID cards, uh, because TrueNAS want to have direct access to the drive. And if the drive is in a RAID array, it can't have direct access to it. So it will completely discard it. So uh, you need to have the drives connected to the motherboard. Uh, my old computer here have a... Uh, five internal SATA ports. Four of them goes to the Intel ICH, what to call it, the uh, yeah, the controller for the hard drives. And then uh, the extra internal goes to a different controller called J-Micron. And then uh, on the back of the computer it has an external eSATA, an ex external SATA port. That is also connected to J-Micron and for some reason uh, TrueNAS doesn't find that drive or it just discard it because I have that drive in an external box and it doesn't seem to like that controller in that box so uh, yeah network uh, most network interfaces work um, I just use the Intel one otherwise no issues but remember, at least minimum, bare minimum of 8 gig of RAM and a 64 bit processor. Okay, so let's actually switch to the computer that I have. I'm going to install it on. And it's this old bastard. Um, yeah, it's from 2007. This. Um, processor it's I built it myself this computer the motherboard can handle 8 gigs of RAM maximum and that's the minimum for TrueNAS so I can't have any more RAM but it works um, and these are the four internal drives that I have four one terabyte drives uh, and those are connected to the uh, Intel storage so I'm going to boot, you can see that I actually have the top one extra there. The second uh, 500 gig drive is not connected, so... So this will be the hard drive that I'm actually going to install Freedas on, or TrueNAS. I'm used to say Freedas, but... So yeah, let's exit. And I'm actually, this old computer 
doesn't have UEFI, it has the regular BIOS. And I'm just mentioning that because you have to choose later on. It boots. Does it boot? Yes. That's the 500 gig drive. And now it should actually start loading the TrueNAS stuff, the installer and things. And TrueNAS is based on free BSD, and BSD is not Linux, it's BSD. It's similar, but not, but still different. Same thing, but different. And here you can just press enter or let it auto run. Default option is the boot TrueNAS installer. And as you saw, I'm actually doing this on real hardware. I'm not doing a virtual machine as many people do when you do tutorials. All right, first option of the installer. So use the arrow keys, of course, the first one, install, upgrade. It's going to check for the disks you have. And it's over here, it doesn't really find the second 500 gig drive. So here you have need to select the drive that I, you need to want to install TrueNAS on. These other drives, you see they are about one terabyte. I'm going to use those for storage. So you have this selected and uh, press spacebar. And you get the star there, uh, to the left. Then just press OK or press Enter. Yes, this will erase all partitions and stuff. We see it with installation center. Then you need a root password for this. Important to remember this. Uh, I'll just make a simple one new right now. Press tab. So that you come to the OK there and press Enter. And here you get option Shit. Shit. Got an SMS. Boot via UFI or BIOS. This computer doesn't have the hell. It doesn't have uh, any UEFI. So it's boot via BIOS. If you're going to have like a um, cache drive or whatever, you don't need to create a swap drive. I'm not going to use a cache drive for this, so uh, yeah, create swap. Now it's going to install everything. Brother sending an SMS. I usually do it with Messenger. Hmm. Alright, so now it's going to install everything, so i am just pause this for now. Alright, so now it's doing this stuff. And this might take a little while. I don't know really what it is, but uh, yeah. So yeah, this will take a little while, so I will pause again. Alright, 
When it's done, you get this win art. The TrueNAS installation is succeeded. Please reboot and remove the installation media. So, yeah, press OK. And then I'm actually going to just shut down for now because I want to remove the media as well. And then I'm going to boot it up. And I'm booting up the computer again without the uh, drive connected, the installation media connected. So now it's going to actually boot everything. Now it automatically just going to boot itself. So let's see how long it takes. I'll just pause here for now. First time it boots, it's going to do this for a while. I know what, I have no idea what it is, but uh, it's what it does. So yeah, I get back to you when it is done. Okay, now it's actually booted. And it's going to take a while on the first boot. It's doing some stuff. But right now the installation is done. So now you can actually leave it like this. But remember, write this the IP number there. It says the web user interface is at this IP number. And that's what I'm going to use. So now I'm going to switch to my other computer. Over here, which is OBS. And you just use a web browser and go to that IP number 192.168. And remember, it's almost that. That's the router number 11. And you are now in TrueNAS. And the default uh, username is root. And the password. That you entered during the installation and then just press enter yeah and this is true nas welcome you can get started and whatnot message yeah now it's have unreadable sectors So this is the initial stuff and in the next video I will actually show you how to create a pool, storage pool and a share. So yeah, see you later.